Before I get started today, I wanted to say thank you for those that have been watching my videos, especially my last video. At this point, it's over 200 views, and I'd like to thank you all for watching. I also find myself in a tight financial situation at the moment because of a mistake that was made earlier this month. All on my end, I, I screwed up, but I find myself in a financial bind. If you could click the little link down below and um, support the show, that'd be great. If you can't, that's awesome too. Um, I don't expect anything, but if y'all can help out, that'd be great. If not, that's great too. But anyhow, I just wanted to to let you know um, that I'm very thankful for those of you that have been watching, especially my last video over Permit Patty. And let's get right to the show. Hey, welcome back to the Big Ranch Show. As always, thank you for joining me. If you could, hit that subscribe button down below and let's get right to it. Now, there's been a lot of talk lately about people from the Trump administration not being treated fairly, supposedly, at restaurants. And some have even had things like burning carcasses of different animals and stuff left on their front porches and stuff, which I find to be completely terrible. But, the one I want to focus on right now is Sarah Sanders who the Trump administration, as well as herself, have made a big deal, a really big deal, on what took place at the Red Hen restaurant in Lexington, Virginia. Now it's a little, a little quaint little place it looks like. I've never, of course, I've never been to Virginia. Uh, but it looks like a decent little place anyway. But they kicked her out of the restaurant because of her ties to the Trump administration. Now, I understand that people don't like Sarah Sanders. They don't like the Trump administration. And I get that. And some people would say that Sarah Sanders and the Trump administration people have brought it upon themselves with the policies they've pushed and things like that. I personally don't see it that way. I don't think people should be mistreated. I don't care who they are. I really don't want, I don't like people being mistreated. I don't care if they're Republicans, Democrats, you know, whatever. You know, you shouldn't be kicked out of a restaurant for your political views. That's just my opinion. A lot of people disagree with me and think that you should be able to do that. Well, here's my thing. One, I don't think you should be able to do it on any grounds. I think you should serve people that walk through your door as long as they've got their, as long as they're meeting dress code requirements. You know, if you if you say no shirt, no shoes, no service, then okay, you don't get service. If you come in there without those things. But your race, your sexual orientation, things like that should not affect whether or not you get service at a restaurant. If you ask me, that's just as bad as the cake baker not making a cake simply because he doesn't like your sexual orientation I can't sit here on one hand and say oh it's so awful for this cake baker not to make a cake for a gay couple but then turn around and say that the Red Hen restaurant is in the right by blocking Sarah Sanders from being able to have a meal at a restaurant that I'm assuming she must like or else she wouldn't have been there Now, maybe it goes back to also something, you know, I heard Meghan McCain say about a week or so ago, you know, about how, you know, you thought that the, the ultimate religion here in America really is, is, is capitalism, is money. You know, that's, that's the, the spirit of America is making money. And by sending this person away, you, you've cut out money from your restaurant. Now, I don't really care why they kicked her out for you know, what, what excuse they used. And I'm not even going to do it. I'm not even going to talk about it. But the main thing is, the, the, the main thing was that they wanted her out because she was part of the Trump administration. Now, you know I do not like Donald Trump. I don't like, talk, I don't like hardly anything the Trump administration has done. I don't like the fact that Sarah Sanders sits up there and lies constantly, even though it is her job. 
I don't like the fact of what the thing, the policies that they've been pushing lately, especially when involving immigrant children. But we should still be civil to one another. Yes, we have difference of opinions. We don't like we don't like what other people are doing. But when I heard you know anything like this happening during the Obama administration, I didn't I didn't approve of it then. I'm not going to approve of it now. I didn't like George W. Bush. I didn't like him hardly at all as president. I thought he was a good person, but didn't think he was a good president. But I would have never supported him him or his family or his staff or whatever, not being able to eat at a restaurant simply because you didn't like them. This is not the America I remember growing up in. This is not the America I remember. I don't once remember McDonald's turning down a Bill, turning down Bill Clinton running in there to get a snap burger. You know, I, I don't understand why they would do this. So... I just want to make it clear, I'm no supporter of Donald Trump or his administration. But what I am a supporter of is freedom. You know, and, I, it, and if you're going to sit there and say that part of freedom involves a gay couple being able to have a cake make for, make, baked for them, then you should have to serve them too. You know, you should have to serve people you don't like too. It can't be a one-way street. You can't sit there and say, well, I don't agree with your political views, so you can't eat here. And then be like, well, that gay, that, that, that cake baker should have made that gay couple a cake. That's hypocritical. And you're not going to get that here. So my thought is, it's terrible what they did. I don't like it. And I think they should have served her. One, it plays, it, it hurts your cause. It hurts your cause to sit there and tell somebody they're not allowed to eat at your restaurant because of their political views. It says more about you than it does them. And what does it cause? It has caused a uproar on the right, which is going to make it harder for Democrats to continue gaining power towards the November elections. So if you wanted Donald Trump to be um, hampered in a way of getting some of his um, policies through that you don't like by blocking people from eating at your restaurant and giving them reason to go to their, their base and, and cry about it, then you're, you're giving them credence and giving them a path to to win more seats in Congress. And it's not something I can support. But honestly, that's where I stand on this. I don't think it's intelligent to do what we've done or what they've done. I know if I owned a restaurant, I wouldn't do it. But I really don't know what else to say on it. People, be nice to each other. That's all That's all you got to do. Be nice to each other. Whether or not you agree with your with your neighbor or your co-worker or, or whatever, just be nice to people. You don't have to be an ass. Just because you don't like how they are or what they say or what they do in terms of a job doesn't mean they shouldn't be able to sit down and have a nice meal. So, what do y'all think? Let me know down in the comments below what you think, whether or not it was it was the right thing to do. I'd really love to know what you think. So anyhow, this has been The Big Ranch Show. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you down the road.